If you live in Scotland, there's a high chance to you that you know the comedian Brian Lemond, more commonly referred to as Lemmy. But for those in America and other parts of the world, he's the creator of the funny show you've never heard of. Stay tuned, folks. This could get interesting. Okay, saying you've never heard of him might be a little bit of a stretch. I'm sure most of you have probably seen this clip. I've got a question for you. What's heavier? A kilogram of steel? Or a kilogram of feathers? But unless you're like me and you went down the rabbit hole of his many other sketches, this is probably all you've seen of his show. Lemmy's show was a sketch comedy series that was on BBC Two Scotland from 2010 to 2012. And I love this show. It's the most genius, dark, and batshit crazy thing I have ever seen. I could come out of watching an episode completely confused at what I saw, but also have my stomach hurt from laughing. This unique combination of feeling as confused as Adam Sandler in the ending of Click, paired with watching something that is actually funny, is why this is one of the best comedy shows out there. Lemmy is great at finding the humor in the mundane aspects of our daily lives, but this isn't the Seinfeld-esque, what's the deal with airline food type of observational comedy. Lemmy makes these ordinary things in our lives surreal and absurd. I'll give you an example. In episode 1, there's a sketch where Lemmy finds that two people that he wouldn't think would like each other just became friends on Facebook. I'm sure you've had this happen to you before, pretty normal, right? Lemmy's internal monologue begins to question this odd friendship and calls the pair strange bedfellows. After questioning the friendship for a little longer, Lemmy himself cuts off his internal monologue questioning why he would ever use the phrase strange bedfellows. I'll let you see what ensues. What's strange bedfellows? Gonna, gonna... Gonna stop using that phrase, gonna, why you, why'd you keep, since when have I ever used the phrase strange bedfellows? Well, it was the first time for everything, and it just seemed like a really good way of summing right, up. Right, well that was the first time in the last, alright, I never, I never want to hear that phrase in my head again, alright? Let me show always keeps you on your toes. You never know what's going to happen in a sketch when you first start it, and there's a high chance you'll never figure out what the fuck is going on at the end. Lemmy masterfully uses unexpected changes in his show to transform normal observational comedy into some crazy nightmare of surrealism. Take this sketch where Lemmy sits in a park watching a couple play fight over a man's hat. Lemmy enjoys this and he cracks a little smile at it. Then, absolutely out of nowhere, a strange man with some kind of weird Slavic accent asks Lemmy, you like this? And he will give him good price to do the same thing. The scene changes to a random warehouse and Mr. Russia gives Lemmy a hat as he goes inside. Then out of nowhere, some random clown lady takes Lemmy's hat and recreates what he saw in the park. Truly a beautiful moment. Lemmy has his own set of recurring characters that get sketches in every season. My personal favorite of these characters is Jacqueline McCafferty, who lost three years of her life to heroin, which she constantly tells other people, and that she's just trying to live a normal life with her daughter. And yeah, now's probably a good time to mention that Lemmy does a lot of cross-dressing in this show. Jacqueline is the most absurd and obnoxious character that Lemmy has, and I love every one of those sketches. Some other characters include Falcon Hoof, which is the guide of a choose-your-own-adventure TV show which attracts some interesting callers. No, you're dead! Mate, you're dead! You just cost me two grand, you're a dead man! I'm gonna find out what you drink and you're a fu- Raymond Day is a psychic medium who tells his guests terrible messages from the afterlife including the fact that someone's dead relative is covered in spiders and screaming for help from hell, and Dee Dee, who is an unemployed stoner that spends his time watching TV and analyzes the most ordinary things in life. Each character in the show has their own style, not only in the way they act, but in the editing and filming of each of their sketches. This is something that Lemmy's show does great compared to other comedy series. You don't really see many other comedy shows that have such a careful attention to detail in the cinematography and editing. Lemmy uses these to make his sketches even funnier. Take Didi, who I just talked about. He has his own specific framing to take us into a stoner reality that he lives in. Almost every shot is at some kind of weird angle and the camera never stays the same distance away from him. We get close-ups of his face and faraway shots that show the entirety of his disgusting room. The editing is great too. Some amazingly crappy special effects that just make everything funnier and weirder. Lemmy and his production crew know how to use editing to add to the insanity that is Lemmy's show. The sound effects, cuts, and special effects make this show a masterpiece of comedy. Everything in the show is so unique, which is why it's so amazing. Each episode is half an hour where we can sit back and experience our world through the lens of Lemmy with his cynical social commentary, odd realities, and caricatures of our daily life. It's a refreshing take on comedy that not many other people have done. 
and for us Americans, it's probably a new experience to see comedy that comes from outside of our country. Glasgow is a big part of Lemmy's show, and it will probably show you that Scottish people aren't the raging, idiotic alcoholics that you see on The Simpsons. This show was a unique experience for me, and a fresh of breath air. I mean, even being able to decipher what these people are saying with their Glaswegian accents was a part of watching the show. At first, it was like listening to 3D English. I couldn't even understand what the hell they were saying in some of these sketches. But that's why this show is so great to watch for those that don't know anything about Lemmy or Scotland. If we keep watching the same thing over and over again with only slight changes, nothing won't be funny anymore. I think this is one of the reasons why other sketch shows like SNL have lost their charm. It's been the same things for years and the humor is starting to wear off. Lemmy pushes boundaries and refuses to stick to the status quo. So, if you want an extremely funny new show to watch, I highly recommend Lemmy's show. You can only do it so much justice just by talking about it, because it's definitely something you have to experience for yourself. It's currently on Netflix, but if you're cheap like me, you can watch all the episodes on YouTube for free in 240p. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah.